Welcome back. We are here with Nebula. I'm so excited to be able to do a full Nebula cosplay would be so much work. And I have a lot of hair. So putting all that in a bald cap and finding someone to help me with all that, no, it ain't happening. So today we are getting the essence of Nebula and being able to capture the spirit of Nebula and satisfy that itch of me wanting to be Nebula for far too long and just doing it in a portion of our face. I hope you're as excited as I am. We are gonna hop right into it. Let's go. Starting off with our primer, we definitely wanna make sure we have a clean canvas to work on and we are protecting our skin. To start off this look, I wanna start with the framework. So just going in with a gel eyeliner and a detailed angle brush, I'm starting to just make the outlines of where I want this nebula skin to peek through. I am using a reference photo for my inspiration. So kind of going off of that primarily and then making any adjustments based on my face and my preference. When it comes to mixing the paint for Nebula, they have a couple of different colors of blue and or purple, varying shades of this blue family. So going in with my lighter shade of blue in this middle section, it's okay to go over the detailed lines that we made. I'm kind of knowing that there's gonna be lots of layering and more detailed added along the way. And like I said, it was really just for the framework for the initial outlining. You could block out your eyebrows for this look. I just went ahead and painted them down. And then going in with a deeper shade of blue that's leaning more into the purple family for the remainder of the color. I like to set all of my liquid paints with a powder, so going in with a bright blue eyeshadow, I just patted that down over this middle section. I really like the eyeshadow that I used as well because it does have a glimmer or a shimmer effect, and so it kind of gives that metallic metal look uh, that we know that Nebula has on her suit or that makes up the, the race that she is, the species that she is. And then going ahead with uh, the same technique, obviously using a darker navy blue for the eyeshadow to pat down. And now kind of going in and formulating the eye piece that Nebula has. This is one of her most standout characteristics on her face. Um, she has this contraption around her eye, this whole metal piece. I didn't have a really big game plan of going in of like the steps that I wanted to 
complete or the layering process. I really just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So I'm just kind of filling in. I'm doing some outline work to uh, detail certain aspects and then just going in with a base color knowing that I'm going to highlight and shadow throughout certain places and certain pieces um, really just depends on the reference photo. I just wanted to detail some different metallic parts um, that you can see on her eyepiece and kind of fill those in as we go. So you'll see me revisiting this eyepiece throughout. I do want to set, you know, the liquid with a powder. So using a small detail brush and some actually some black eyeshadow just to make that more steel like and then adding some lines to define some intricacies of her eyepiece. Now to add some shading to this peak of nebula that we are seeing, we do want it to look like uh, she is coming out of our skin almost. Uh, you're seeing through our skin into it. So wanting to add some shading for that depth uh, to show that our skin is on top of it and then outline it in a stark black liquid eyeliner. Adding some cracks into the skin, going with that same geometric motherboard-esque line work. And just revisiting for some more highlights and shading and one more outline and this is our final look. Okay, this is it. We created the Nebula look. I can't tell you how long I've wanted to cosplay Nebula so long but I have so much hair and it would the thought of going through the bald cap experience and having to go all over or at least as far back as the eye can see just makes me not want to do it it looks like so much work when I found the photo that was like you know just like a segment of Nebula's face I was like yes this is doable. This will tickle the itch and scratch the itch of wanting to become Nebula just enough to feel satisfied. You know what I mean? Because it's been aching at me for years, for years, since the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And I think part of it is because I love Karen Gillan and I fell in love with her from Doctor Who. Um, but then love her and her little like indie smaller movies that she does as well. So when I found out that she was playing Nebula, I was like, yes, I'm gonna cosplay Nebula. And then I was like, this seems like a lot of work. So I haven't actually full blown cosplayed her, but this really just like satisfied that itch of being able to become part of Nebula. What other movie characters can I do? Comic book characters, video game characters, can you think of that you would like to see me become? Leave it in the comments and I would love to give it a go and make it more of a series. Speaking of series, check out the playlist linked above uh, to different genres of things that we have done and the lists are gonna keep on growing. So comment what you wanna see. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos each Tuesday and Friday and also follow mine and my husband's channel. We put out totally different content over there. We just bought a motorcycle, so we'll see. We'll probably get more things going on that end, uh, but we put out things just for the sillies and the giggles and more lifestyle stuff on that channel for sure. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video and I can't wait to connect with you in the next one. Love you so much, appreciate you, and I'm grateful for you. Have a good one.